Jack Queen King 3 is a energy 150 RPM hand cannon obtained from the Nessus Obelisk. Like yesterday's video on the old fashioned hand cannon, I'm going to talk about what makes Jack Queen King unique, what it does the best, and compare it to other options. First off, as far as base stats go, uh, one stat that stands out in particular is the aim assistance of 91, and then the sights on the left can boost it another plus 5, so it can actually have 96 aim assist. In addition, its handling stat is also very high at 73, and then you can make that even higher with a handling masterwork and the sights. It can almost hit max handling. From a quick range test involving a max range Jack Queen King and a medium range Jack Queen King, there isn't that much of a difference. We're talking half a meter. Even looking back just a couple months ago, the common god roll formula was just to go for as much range as possible on a hand cannon, but nowadays you don't have to feel pressured to do that. If you need stability to control the recoil of the gun, by all means go for it. Or if it feels great and you want more handling, by all means go for it. Range is important though. Range is a combination of under the hood hidden stats in Destiny that involve aim assistance. If we're talking energy hand cannon's ability to deal with targets at a long distance, Jack Queen King does pretty good at that, but there are better options like the Not Forgotten. and the 140 RPM hand cannon, the Ancient Gospel. I'd even throw Waking Vigil in the ring with these hand cannons because it can get slide shot and opening shot at the same time. When people hear energy hand cannon, they think of what you see in the background right now, which is pairing it with Chaperone or pairing it with Izanagi, some sort of exclusive exotic weapon combination that you couldn't get in the kinetic slot. After trying a lot of different Jack Queen Kings, I settled for Demolitionist and Swashbuckler because those are some unique perks to the gun that you can't have that particular combination even in the kinetic slot. In terms of other unique perks, you can also get something like high impact reserves and subsistence so that as long as you have half your magazine, you do extra damage, and anytime you get a kill, it refills the magazine partially so you can keep it bottomed out. I tried this and found it not to be very advantageous, even with damage boosters, even when considering when I'd mask. It does pseudo kind of boost the range of the hand cannon a little bit, but when comparing apples to apples against other hand cannons that already do a better job in the range department, they still do better. So here's some gameplay in the background. You're going to notice that my hand cannon is low in ammo. I try to reload and then realize Demolitionist. Automatically reloaded, and there we go. Hot swapping to the quick draw slug shoddy to clean up my kills. This is really all just gameplay where I'm trying to get a feel for the weapon. And I gotta say, having the combo of both Demolitionist to keep my grenade readied most of the time, and Swashbuckler to slightly increase my damage when fighting multiple people, or when trying to follow up a punch, I really like it. I don't know if it's a Not Forgotten or Waking Vigil replacement yet, but it definitely deserves a spot in my vault. There are a couple loadouts where I think this is a top tier option. When you play something like Middle Tree Stormcaller that has the extended storm melee, it's like being able to proc Kill Clip just for cleaning up somebody behind cover. Also, Top Tree Dawnblade would be pretty good with this because of the ranged melee, as well as Hunter with the throwing knife. Doesn't matter what tree you want to use. In fact, I would say a young Ahamkara Spine that's the trip mine exotic would be very good with the new proximity knife. If we're talking Titan, I would say, of course, you know, you can go with the throwing hammer, or you can even do like Syntheseps and Slam or Frontal Assault. A TLDR is. I like the hand cannon. I don't know if I like it more than Not Forgotten yet. Time will I got tell. Shots in them. However, it does have its use cases for a lot of melee grenade centric builds. For the rest of the video, enjoy this competitive match where I use Jack Queen King to its absolute utmost potential here and pull off some pretty cool plays with Middle Tree Stormcaller. So we got some gamers. It's right. Jab 4. Alright. Survive. Babbling door. Cool. Let's frag out. Every death will cost you, Guardian. Fight smart. I'm playing rocket with Wolf. Actually, the crate. The crate. Single jump. So I can, so I one is blue street. One is red rocket. On the left. On the left. One's on B. One. 
One's glass as well. Kill glass now. He's dead. Moving on. Uh, I'm gonna go from Mauler side. Go from pad side. There's that jump. Red jump now. Jump. Okay, I got the pinch yeah. already. Nades out. I'm going forward. No tags. I'm helping Jingle. Uh, I got stapled because he melee's faster than me. Oh. He got me. He's weak. Thorned. Okay. I'm marked, but so is he. Okay. There's two behind me. We got, you got They're you. luring me. One minute left. The enemy is out of second chance. Oh. They were gonna kill us. They would have bolted. Two bolted. I'm on the cut off. Yeah, I gave him health back. Good. Half. Three quarter recovering. Sides has rocket. Should be garage. Shit. Good round. That's why I said if he if he was gonna kill us, they would have killed us by now. They're panicked. Yeah. It's like ten to fifteen minutes. Okay. You're in the lead. If they play mid jump, I'm hitting it with the melee. Oh, that was a neat little. One dead. <clears throat> Rotate to blue. One will be up now. Two not ready, not ready for me. Three blue. Still not with you. Crouch outside of his spawn because he has no brain. Enemy team is Take it. Go forward. Go forward into down. blue again. I'll cut off the B spawn point. Pad. Yeah, I'll say they might have spawned dead. Pinch uh, with me. I'm got? marked, I'm faking it. I'm going same side as you. He's dead. He's done. Opposing team annihilated. It's gonna be the same thing for me. I'm just gonna shoot the melee over uh the mid. I gotta get him. <laughs> All right. The lead is yours. I'm gonna go from outside. Okay. Maybe you see immediately. I should be blue street. Three out here. Push it's three rock wall. I got one hit by a throwing knife that hit the floor. Got it. Got it. How are you on supers? Yes. Um, oh! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Off spawn! What? I get those orbs. I'm gonna get those orbs. See, I don't know why kids are still what using spare ashes or mind benders and just losing every match. Like, try something new. It's gonna work out better, man. It's clearly not your loadout. You have them where you want them. I have all my abilities and half my super. Let's fucking go. <laughs> They're gonna be playing back. Big hits. It hit, it hit, it hit. No, it didn't. It did not, it did not. He's on sides, undersides. What are you doing? I didn't hit it. Go forward, go forward. They're gonna be on oh. pad in there. Yeah. There you go. No help. One's left, one's right. Left has the angle, right sitting on the crates. Right's pushing, left's pushing oh. now. Right 81. Good shot. Two for one. LBR. Off the super. I'm flinching. They're gonna be right in front of us. 39, 43. I'm waiting for the nade. All lives expended. Social victory. Boneless wings.